hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created navigation bar shared module and sign up component in our angular application and in today's video we will create sign up reactive form with html controls and validations and validation error messages so let's get started so in our angular application in the modules we need to open auth and after this we will open signup.component.ts and in this file first of all we need to import our shared module so in the imports array we will write shared module and we will import this from our shared folder and after this we will create a constructor in this component and in this constructor first of all we will inject form builder to build the reactive form and after this we will inject ng message service to show the messages to the user and at the end we will inject router to navigate the user and after this we will click on quick fix and we will add all missing imports and with this our constructor is completed now we need to create a form group and we will name this form as validate form and after this for the type we will write form group and we will import this from angular slash forms and after this we will create ng on init method and in this ng on init method we need to create the controls for our validate form so we will write this dot validate form and after this we will use our form builder and then we will call group method and in this group method we need to mention the controls and first of all we need to get the email from the user so we will create a control with the name of email and after this we need to give the by default value and we will give this as null and after the by default value we need to give the validators and i will write the first validator as validators dot required and after this we will write validators dot email and with this our email form control is completed now we will create another control with the name of password and after this for the by default value we will give null and after this for the validators we will give validators dot required and after this we will create the last control with the name of name and for the by default value we will give null and after this for the validators we will give validators dot required and with this our ng on init and validate form is completed and after this we need to create a method to handle the submission of the form and we will name this method as submit form and with this our ts code is completed in the sign up component now let's save this file and after this we will open signup.component.html and in this file we need to write the code to create the form elements and design the sign up page and to do this we will create a div tag and after this we will give it a class of bg and we will give a background color as well and after this we will create another div and we will give it a class of parent and in this parent we will create another div with the class of child and after this in this div first of all we need to show the text as sign up and to do this we will create another div tag and we will give it a class of image div and after this we will use h1 tag and for the text we will write sign up and after this image div we will create a form tag and for the form group we will attach our validate form and after this we will use ng submit event of this form and we will call our method submit form and now we need to create the form controls inside this form tag and to do this first of all we will create ng form item tag and in this ng form item tag we will create ng form control and after this to show the validation error messages in the ng error tip we will pass the message as this input is not a valid email and after this to get the email from the user we will use input tag and for the placeholder we will give this as email and after this we need to connect this input with our form and to do this we will write form control name and we will pass the name as email and with this our form control is completed for the email now we need to create another form control for the password 
and to do this we will create ng form item and ng form control tags and after this in this ng form control we will create input tag and for the form control name we will give this as password and after this for the type of the input we will give password and after this we need to create last form control for the name so we will create ng form item and ng form control tags and after this in this ng form control we will again use input tag and for the form control name we will give name and after this we need to create a button so we will use button tag and after this for the text we will write register and after this button we need to create a link to redirect the user to the login page and to do this we will use a tag and for the text we will write login now and after this for the router link we will give the path slash login and with this our html code is completed for the sign up page and form controls now let's save this file and let's open signup.component.scss and in this file i will paste the css code and you can pause the video and you can copy this css and after this we will save this file and we will open app.component.html and in this file we need to create a tag to show the contents of the components after our navigation bar so after the ng header tag we will create a tag of a router outlet and after this we will save this file and we will run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 4 to double hundred without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our sign up page and in the browser we will click on this sign up button and as you can see we got redirected to register route and on this page we got a sign up card and in this card we have the inputs for the email password name and after this we have register and login now buttons and after this i will write some text in the email input box and as you can see our validation error messages are working fine as well and after this i will write something in the name input and as you can see it is indicating that our name is logically correct and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create auth service and we will write the code to call the sign up api from our angular application